let's let's look at five sp specific sectors retail hospitality office multifamily rental and industrial let's start off with the real dog in the in the race here uh, uh retail how bad is how bad is it at retail sure well the retail sector was mostly seen by our respondents to be in full decline and that's the choice that they had on this yes. on the survey it, as the, and this was done in june of this year so it's very recent uh, but as we all know, retail is not retail, right? There's a big difference between different types. For, ex for example, there's a wide variation between secondary regional malls. Uh, you don't want to be number two, you know, considered in the worst shape of all, and grocery anchored community neighborhood centers, which are viewed yeah. as holding up the best. So these are kind of like like strip uh, st strip centers, right? I mean, is that what we're talking about? Kind of. Yeah. yeah, you know. And, and they're doing okay. People, they're yeah, doing okay. Well, people need food. And they mm -hmm. need toilet paper. Uh, now, granted, you can get your food and toilet paper delivered to you nowadays, but still, those centers are holding up well because they tend to be sort of the daily necessities of life. Okay. Um, All right. So, Let's go on to hospitality. So we're talking basically hotels and restaurants. Yeah. Okay. So one of the findings that I personally think is the most striking out of our report is that respondents believe that the hospitality sector is approaching or at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Uh, Luxury and re luxury and resort hotels were the most commonly believed to be in full decline or at the bottom. Uh, the most, uh, the largest number of respondents, I should say, believe that recovery will begin within a year in the hotel business. Uh, mm -hmm. We're seeing some data that somewhat supports that, improving though still historically low hotel occupancy rates, increasing TSA checkpoint travel data that indicates that Americans are beginning to travel again, but again, mm. still at levels far below that of previous years. And, you know, with hotels, it kind of reminds me of the old saying, you can't fall off the floor. Okay. All right. So all right, let's look at office buildings and, and workplace. Uh, yeah, so uh, the office market. yeah, we've got the work from home situation. We've got, you know, lots of stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a big, big factor. The office market is still seen as being in decline or hitting the bottom. And there are varying opinions upon, among participants as to the chances of recovery within a year. It's a much more spread out distribution of opinions that, that came back in our survey. For example, 25% think Class A offices will be in a full downturn a year from now, and 14% said that they'll be in early recovery. The wild card is, as you said, work from home. Will this be a lasting trend, or will people want to flock back to their offices? But they're still getting, the uh, uh, owners are still getting, collecting rent fairly, fairly well, aren't they? I mean, it's, you know, it, it's depressed, obviously, compared to normal, but uh, things have started to improve. Um, you know, okay. offices for medical and life sciences, by the way, are still in great shape. The good news is, overall is that recent data indicates that office rent collections in the private open-end fund world actually improved in June and are above 91% collected. So yeah, okay. that's, that's All right. it, you're right. Okay, let's talk about a couple of a little bit more positive things. Multifamily rental uh, buildings and, uh, and industrial. Industrial, that's, that's, well, do multifamily first. Okay, so, well, yeah. multifamily rental apartments are holding up very well so far in this crisis, but there mm -hmm. are concerns about rent collections that have been very high lately continuing after some of the government relief programs start to yeah, expire. Right. You know, there's a lot of people that have making less income now. Right. Uh, some of them lost their jobs and, you know, some of them are getting that $600 extra uh, unemployment benefit now. And, you know, that, that's very much in question. That's set to right. expire at the end of this month. We'll see whether it gets extended in, in some way or at some level. Uh, but in our survey, multifamily is believed to be at the bottom already and is expected to be in or near an improving status in a year's time. Okay, and let's talk about the star of the whole real estate industry, industrial buildings. I, I can just see all these architects wanting to go and study how to build a cold storage facility. <laughs> well, that's right. Yeah, no, that's, that's absolutely right. Food delivery is, is booming, right? So um, industrial as a sector is actually doing better now because of the crisis. Yeah. Uh, and it, again, it's just due to increased demand for deliveries during the lockdown, cold storage, as you said, and last mile warehousing are particularly strong. Uh, we have this graph in our report that is, I know, understand you're making available to your viewers. Yes. Uh, it's called the stage of cycle graph, and it shows kind of like 
bars showing where we are in the cycle by, by sector and industrial shot all the way across the entire graphic to yeah. the other side and it, it makes for a very dramatic illustration. Data, of data centers look good. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a booming market.